Hello guys, welcome to Everything Mentalogy and welcome to day 27 of 100 Days 100 Concepts. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss briefly about Bragg's Law. Okay, so it's also called as Wolf Bragg's Condition. Okay, so basically this law is one of the universally accepted condition when we talk about diffraction. Okay, so this is actually a special case of diffraction. Okay, actually special case of uh, Lowy diffraction. Okay, so which gives uh, a relation between you know the wavelength of the incident rays and you know the angles at which it is reflecting back and etc. Right. So I'll just explain you. Right. So usually what happens is uh, X rays are usually allowed to go and hit the atom. Okay, so X rays are my incident rays. Okay, so incident X rays. Okay, so they will be, you know, uh, these incident X rays are nothing but your electromagnetic waves. Okay, so there are many other conditions uh, for these particular, you know, diffraction laws, but we are not going to consider that. So, what we consider now is let's say I have, okay, a crystal structure, right. So, usually my atoms are arranged, correct? So, these are nothing but different planes, okay? So, as you can see, these are different planes which consist periodic arrangement of atoms, okay? Now, what happens? Usually, my incident array will come over here, hit the atom, it will absorb some energy, some ray can be transmitted, and the rest will be reflected back correct similarly similarly we can also see that for this plane this is how it will be there correct so here if you see this is my theta okay so basically theta is you know the deflection from the plane itself right so here if you have a look at this particular length it is d which is nothing but my interplanar spacing okay interplanar spacing is the distance between two planes within my crystal structure correct so here as you can see this is my theta which we took and now if you just uh, see the path differences actually so what is the path difference between the first ray and the second ray so what i mean so this is the extra portion which i have correct so as you see here if you just cut like this this part is my extra path which my wave is usually traveling in order to hit the atom in the next plane of atom uh, next plane of my crystal right so here usually we say that n lambda n is the order of the reflection and lambda is nothing but the wavelength of the incident x-ray which we used will be equal to this path difference whatever is the extra portion which we saw that will be equal to that so how to calculate it it's very simple so this is d so this will be d sine theta okay so let's take this is d okay this is d and this will be d sine theta so we have d sine theta over here and d sine theta over here right so we have 2d sine theta okay so i am not going to cover the derivations and all over here because you know uh, it's quite um, it involves more stuff okay so definitely in our full course we will be covering all those stuff so uh, as of here this equation this mathematical expression is called Bragg's law where it is explaining me the relation between the wavelength d is what the interplanar spacing and theta as you can see this is my theta right so if you see here you got a good derivation okay or good expression correct now how to calculate this d so basically the interplanar spacing d is equal to a by root over h square plus k square plus so usually d is equal to 
a by root over h square plus k square plus l square where h k l r my family of planes which you are talking about right so obviously we consider parallel planes correct so h k l will be same for all the parallel planes right so d is equal to a by root of h square plus k square plus l square and a is nothing but the lattice parameter right so here from this particular equation also you can write the bragg's law as n lambda is equal to 2a by root over h square plus k square plus l square into sin theta okay so this is the expression of the same bragg's law but in terms of lattice parameters and the h scale of the plane itself right so here we can uh, you know grasp many information apart from this so based on the hkl what all atoms what all you know planes can be seen on your diffraction okay so all this stuff can be um, studied okay so based on the bravais lattice or you know the crystal type usually you can know what are the reflections that you can get okay so i don't want to you know make this video long by discussing all the stuff and yeah to get to know about all the important stuff for get do check out our website everythingmetallurgy.com so that you can get to see each and every detail of the get syllabus right so do check out and thanks for the incredible support we are getting more and more enroll numbers and as i already said the early bird discount is ending soon so also go check out the test series which is one of the most affordable test series in india for gate metallurgy thank you guys thanks a lot for watching meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you